Hello everybody, this is the notes, hopefully the quick notes, for week two, uh, implicit differentiation. It's been a little while since we've done this, so I just wanted to kind of run through the, the thought process for it. So the idea here with implicit differentiation, we are going to deal with the x values like normal, taking the derivative of them. The y values, we are thinking that y is some sort of function in terms of x. We don't know what the function is. We don't need to know what the function is, but we think of y as a function of x. So basically what that means is chain rule. So take the derivative of each term. So the derivative of x squared, 2x, minus the derivative of y cubed. Again, thinking chain rule for the y variable. So we're going to multiply that exponent of 3 out in front. Inside function stays the same. Decrease that exponent by 1 times the derivative of the inside. That's what the dy over dx represents. Okay, again, the idea of chain rule. Equals derivative of every single term. Derivative of 6, 0. All right, we are trying to solve with implicit differentiation. We are trying to solve for dy over dx. So, Sometimes you're going to have multiple dy over dx's, so the thought process here is get all the terms with the dy over dx on the one side of the equal sign, all the terms without dy over dx, move them to the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to do that right now. Subtract 2x from both sides. What we get is a negative 3y squared dy over dx equals negative 2 x. We're trying to solve for dy over dx. That is a multiplication right there. So we are going to divide by the negative 3y squared on both sides. When we do that, we get our dy over dx equal to negative 2x over. We divide it by negative 3y squared. Anytime you can do any kind of cleaning up with this fraction, go for it. There's really nothing to do other than the negatives. Negative divided by negative is a positive. So 2x over 3y squared. That is our answer. Okay, that's the main idea for implicit differentiation. A couple of things to pay attention to. When we look at this example, x times y equals 4. X has this always been a function like it has been? We are thinking that Y is a function in terms of X. So with this multiplication here, it's a function times a function. So you're going to have to do the product rule. Pay attention to those kinds of things. In the worksheet, I'm asking you to do one of these questions over here. Find the equation of the line tangent to whatever the equation is, and you'll be given a point, a point of tangency. So with this idea, we're writing the equation for a line. y equals mx plus b. To find the slope, this goes back to the very beginning of class. We're talking about the slope of a tangent line. That's what the derivative is. So we're going to find dy over dx. So you're going to go through that process that I just went through in that first example. You're going to be given a point, x comma y. When you find that derivative equation, when you just take the derivative, plug in your x and y, solve for dy over dx, that number is your slope. Then you can use a slope, plug it in up here, plug in your coordinate for x and y, solve for the y-intercept. That's the gist of it. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions.